The Donaghy Scholars Program is one of the best opportunities the University of Arkansas at Little Rock offers. The program was named after George Washington Donaghy, the 22nd Governor of Arkansas from 1909 to 1913. As the governor, he was dedicated to education. Through his support, he established and funded four agricultural colleges in the state, Arkansas State University, Arkansas Tech, Southern Arkansas University, and the University of Arkansas at Monticello. Governor Donaghy is also the reason why Hendricks College and the University of Central Arkansas are in Conway. After his time as governor, Donaghy was devoted to commercial and charitable work. In 1929, he transferred ownership of the Donaghy Building and the Federal Bank and Trust Building, located in downtown Little Rock, to the Little Rock Junior College, what would later become the University of Arkansas at Little Rock. Governor Donaghy married his wife on September 20, 1883. The couple lived in Conway, where Governor Donaghy worked hard to improve higher education. According to Donaghy's autobiography, as he and his wife grew older and childless, they decided to leave their fortune to the Little Rock Junior College, stating, I was convinced that no greater field for educational development exists anywhere than can be found right here in Little Rock, where hundreds of boys and girls, after graduating from high school, are unable to advance further through a college course. An amount of $2 million was bequeathed to the Little Rock Junior College, the largest bequest ever made to an Arkansas institution via endowment. Officially, the program was founded in 1984 as the University Scholars Program, then changed its name in 1988 to the Donaghy Scholars Program. They were assembled and funded by the Donaghy Foundation and overseen by the Donaghy Board of Trustees. We were able to interview the president of the Board of Trustees, Mr. Greg Flesher, to find out more about his role, the board's role, and his goals for the University of Arkansas at Little Rock. Mr. Flesher was born and raised in Iowa before moving to Arkansas. He replaced Congressman French Hill on the Donaghy Board, and he currently works at the Simmons Bank in downtown Little Rock as a certified public accountant. What, what would you say is the purpose of the Donaghy Board? The board's purpose is to administer the money that Governor Donaghy left, and he left very specific instructions that it was to benefit Little Rock Junior College at the time, 1929, or its successors which was a very crucial phrase in there. If you read some of the things I gave you, mm -hmm. there have been three times this has been litigated and it's gone to the Arkansas State Supreme Court. First of Arkansas, Little Rock, as we're now mm -hmm. been rebranded, mm -hmm. is the successor to Little Rock Junior College, so the money can only wow. go to benefit students there. So the trust is very specific in what the money can be used for. The board's function, as your question uh, started out, we're to see that we follow that. Uh, how do you think the Donaghy Board is associated with the Donaghy Program? Like aspects that it controls and everything, things that we wouldn't necessarily have if it weren't for the board. Well, we certainly don't see our role as anything other than providing the money. Mm -hmm. We're not trained educators. Mm -hmm. <laughs> we should not be involved in the program mm -hmm. decision-making. Uh, conversely, if the Donaghy name's on it, we want it to be a quality program. Mm -hmm. uh, so we are interested in getting feedback, mm -hmm. and we will generally ask the question, how else can we help? What are some long-term goals that you all have for the Donaghy program? Well, first and foremost would be to stay true to Governor Donaghy's. He was the 22nd governor, but 1909 to 1913. Right. <laughs> so the fact we're still talking about him right. indicates he had some foresight. Mm -hmm. He had no children, so he left most of his estate, which consisted of two buildings he'd built in here in downtown Little Rock. So we would hope we have as much foresight as he had to see things. A couple of times we've invited the chancellor to bring us a special project and can create more money to do more things. Um, 
we'll invite the chancellor, you know, kind of what's on your wish list? Right. What can we help that won't otherwise get done? We would like or hope that our involvement allows something to be done that wouldn't otherwise happen. Another important figure in carrying on Governor Donaghy's legacy is former Chancellor Joel Anderson. Chancellor Anderson played a crucial role in the construction of the Donaghy EIT building. Certainly had been very helpful in mm. both starting the college. Dr. Hathaway got them to put significant money into it at the beginning, and they also made a major contribution, $5 million, to the building uh, for, the, for the college. So. Uh, what do you think it is that puts the Donaghy program head and shoulders above so many other scholarship programs? Well, I, th I think that you know, probably at the top of the list is the study abroad experience, which uh, is for a student uh, who has not done it before, and that would be almost all of the ULR students, including almost all of the Donaghy scholars. Uh, that's a life-changing experience. Uh, because of Governor Donaghy's commitment to education and the generous funds given to scholars from the Donaghy Foundation, the Donaghy Scholars Program offers students well-rounded education through its interdisciplinary core curriculum and incredible opportunities like the chance to study abroad. Simon Clare, a British nurse and Donaghy Scholars alumnus, is a prime example of just how far Governor Donaghy's legacy reaches. When asked about the Donaghy Scholars Program, he responded, It was lovely to be honest. I met lifelong friends and we had a blast. It was always new for me, experiencing the American educational system firsthand. It was like being in a movie every day. When asked about what makes the Donaghy program world class, he replied, It is fearless and willing to take chances. It seeks out people who are genuinely different and offers a different perspective, challenging people to argue and push back, people that don't accept the way the world is and are passionate about how the world could be, perhaps, with the right input. Kelly Singer, another Donaghy Scholars alumnus who graduated last May in 2016, was attracted to the program because of its requirement to study abroad. She lived in Orléans, France for a year. And Donaghy allowed me not just to study for a semester in France, which was the original plan, but I ended up staying for another semester on top of that, so I was there for a full year and was able to become pretty fluent in a language that I love and immerse myself in a culture that I adore and could absolutely see myself living in at some point. And um, it was good to experience things that were going on in the world as they actually were rather than hearing about them on the news. Studying abroad made her more culturally aware and appreciative of the world who I was as a 19, 20 year old uh, really needed some culture and some huge perspective about how the world really works. I, I, could, I could go on and on and on about how different I am, but I, I think every single person in the world should study abroad. And I know only like 3% of us get to do it, Yeah. but I really think it should be like 100%. This project has demonstrated that thanks to Governor Donaghy's devotion to education in Arkansas, Many lives have been touched, from the businessman to the artist, from near and far, then and now. Without Governor Donaghy's dedication to education, specifically the Donaghy Scholars Program at the University of Arkansas at Little Rock, the educational journey for so many would likely cease to exist.